2 and chapter 2 she's it's gonna have a lot of sections in it so there's like here you can see that's uh, have a nine nine sections here and uh, so we're gonna start with uh, I mean first of all let's introduce the chapter which is analyzing and solving linear equations so we're gonna analyze and solve linear equations now when we get to this chapter now we're introducing you guys to, to actually algebra 1 material that's what you're gonna see in algebra 1 next year hopefully uh, we're going to be talking about something called combining like terms uh, to solve equations and then we're going to be solving equations with variable this is going to be also interconnected everything we do here is going to be interconnected so solving multi multi steps equations uh, equations with no solution no solution or infinitely many solutions this is all algebra one material so you guys this is going to help you out so we need to concentrate on this chapter this is an important chapter by the way so uh, we'll take it with us. We're going to take it with us to, to next year. So make sure that, you know, we need to work hard on this one. Okay. And then we're going to be the So now, but for, for this week, we're not going to do all that directly. We're going to do just a part of it. So we're going to start with, for example, the section one here, uh, which is a combining like term. So we need to do, this is an easy one. This is probably, you guys going to have an easy way of handling. So, you know, you can see there's an X here and there's an X here. You can see that those two X's are similar to each other so that's what we call like terms so that means if i have an x to the power of one and x to the power of one those are like terms so now we take the numbers in front of them and we add them together so now we ignore the x's we just say one and one over three plus one over six and we just add them up after we add them up we put them in front of one of the x's and that's how we combine the, the like terms so instead of having two x's you know separate now we'll combine them together. So that's the whole idea behind combining like terms. The word combine, that's what it means. Okay. So that's what we're going to be doing uh, this week. And we're going to, then and then we, we're going to solve for X, by the way. After we combine, so you need to know the purpose of doing it. So after we do that, we have to find the value for X, which is, is it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Okay. So and, uh, the, the, this is what's going to be the section. And this is also uh, giving you extra examples, combining like terms to solve the subtraction equation. So, I mean, it's normal. Subtracting or adding is the same thing. So now look at this one. This was a, a p to the power of 1, a p to the power of 1. So look at the powers. There's nothing. If there's nothing, that means by default it's 1. So, But we can say that for sure that this p is actually the same as this p. So we have to remember there's a 1 here in front of the p. So that means 1 minus 0 0.035. So we don't ignore the P and just add or subtract the numbers in front of it. And then you'll have a, a number by itself in front of the one of the P's. And then here you do the division. So you divide. So you could get rid of the, the coefficient of the P. And then, like I said, this is uh, by itself. Uh, it's required work. So we can do it. But it's fun. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Here they're showing you that, you know, I have that more than one negative, it's still the same thing, all right? So we're still going to be doing the same basic math. So there's nothing nothing different than what we know from before. So if we have extra chance, we'll, we'll continue with with the 2.2. And 2.2 will be the same thing. So solve the equations, the same idea. And uh, this time, we're going to have more than one x. Uh, not now, but later on, we'll have an X on one side, the X on the other side. Now, later on, the other examples will be probably on the same side, and you have more than one X, but it's still the same thing. You're, you're combining like terms. If I have 5, 7, 10 Xs, doesn't make a difference because I know I could add them up to, 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 to equal one X. So we'll, we'll see that, how we're going to do this in class, all right? Like I said, everything is done in class. Everything is done in class. So now... They are making more things more complicated. They're showing you there's an X here. They're showing an X here. They're showing an X here. That's fine. It's okay. 15X plus 20X. So we could combine them as a 35X. So now instead of those two Xs, I have one X. Now I have a negative 25X here. I have a 35X here. I could say a plus 25X and a plus 25X. I ended up with a 60X. So now instead of having three different Xs, I have one X. And then at the end, you solve for it. Uh, I think this is, will be new for you and will be more fun for you. Okay, guys, talk to you and see you uh, that week. Bye-bye.